Uh, hi guys, uh, this is my first tutorial I've ever done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to do it on the fly here and give you two sources of information. One, how to convert some of the math from the prior API Play Canvas to the new um, math API, uh, along with demonstrating how to scripturally control a camera and make it orbit around a target. So, um, I guess let's get started. First, I should have... Sorry if it's been loading a little slow when I download the camera program. It uh, unfortunately gave me some spyware. So you'll have to bear with me here. Um, so what we have here is an original Orbit script from the old API. Um, we'll go ahead and copy this, not worry about too much what it says right now. Close out that window. I don't know why the header controls aren't working. Um, make a new project. Project title um, Orbit Tutorial No Starter Kit. Um, I'll go ahead and jump into it. Create one pack on it. Once the pack loads, uh, we're going to go ahead and create a bore and a ball to have a target for. Um, and then we'll strap the script on there. And then my computer is running slow right now. I should have did it on my other rig, but uh, I'm doing it on my uh, cheaper laptop right now. <sighs> Okay, so now that the scene's loaded, we'll go ahead and title the pack uh, to do orbit tutorial, or just orbit type, uh, the same as same as last. Um, the camera within the same the directional light will go ahead and move it up and over just to give us a little bit more depth in the scene. Okay, um, and then we're going to go ahead and move the camera back so uh, and the position of the camera initially here isn't really going to matter because the script is going to take over and tell it exactly where to go um, so that doesn't really matter um, in here we'll go ahead and make a new entity uh, do a floor Floor entity by a component of a model. We can get primitive. We'll just go ahead and do a uh, hundred by hundred. Drop it down in position negative one, so it's actually below everywhere. Makes it a simpler um, another component or another entity. I'm sorry. Uh, this one we'll call ball. Ball, we'll add a component as well, a uh, primitive model of the ball. Oh. Our sphere, there we go. Uh, we can tell it to cast shadows. And then we'll, uh, we'll blow it up a little bit just to make it bigger. So we'll go 10 by 10 on everything. 10 by 10. 10. And then position of the negatives was 5. No, oh, actually positive 5. Alright, we'll just run the scene real quick. Um, just to make sure everything's set up correctly while well, that's doing its thing. We'll go to the camera. We'll add a component to the camera of a script. And on the script, we'll add, we'll just call it orbit. Uh, all right, let's open up Orbit. Check on this. Good enough. Um, all right, now Orbit script load. Um, in the Orbit script, just below here, we'll post or post paste this older script, and we'll start comparing what we need to put in. Um, we need these two variables, which Standard J or JavaScript variables, they don't need to be redefined in any way. 
Um, we do a lot more fancy stuff with them, but for the most part that works. Uh, here's the first part we're going to need to update. And we have uh, here is the ball being declared in the initialize function um, just so that we can call it easier along with a variable called chase which um, I'm actually going to go ahead and call this this dot chase um, we'll actually say this dot target and now with uh, the new API we have to update the vector 3 function um, it's a lot simpler to call now it's just PC capital V PC3 um, we're actually going to want to tell it to be a new PC vector. Uh, so that should make that into a vector 3 um, array. Now we're going to come down here, um, update function, cut that out, we can delete all the rest of this script. Uh, come here, uh, paste that. So I'll actually make this bigger so you guys can read it. There we go. So what we're going to do is uh, tell the chase. We're going to was the chase in the old script. Uh, and it's now this dot target. We'll copy that just to make sure that. Come on, computer. Super slow. Yeah, there's something going on. Sorry about that brain box. Um, so we're going to tell this target to be the box position. Um, what we're going to track is the time. Uh, the time is going to be added to the R speed. Just so that the uh, rotation basically continues to happen. Another way we could do this is, um, I believe, is do DT. Uh, R speed times DT. But what we'll do is just the time plus R speed to keep it a standard uh, 0.25 rotation. Um, the next part is we just need to find the X location and Z location. Uh, that is, uh, I believe, the, just the distance in the circle from the target that we're looking at. And we achieve that through a sine function of the time times math uh, pi times 180 degrees uh, times 10 I believe is the distance from. You can also uh, do a tangent operation in here but it's easier just to set the that as a base distance. Um, and now here the chase is zero it was originally from the old API. It's now updated to this target. Was that was that just the one or the zero? Let's check. Okay, that was zero. So we target dot x. Should have known that just from what this needs to be. And then this dot the chase uh, two. Now it comes this dot target dot y. Um, we look down here and make sure that we know how to do that. It needs to be updated. We do. We have the chase. X also here, so think of this dot target dot x plus five. Um, it looks like everything's good here. Uh, the only thing that we need to do now is tell the entity to rotate. Um, other than that, we're good to go. If you want to, we could set a couple variables like here, like we'll go um, cam equals this. Um, what that will do now is I can instead of having this dot entity, this dot entity, it can cam, cam, and everything should be good to go from there. Um, we'll go ahead and run this. I'm just looking at it one time, I don't think anything's going to drop error wise. Um, we should be good to go. The one thing I wanted to mention is the 10 is the y distance um, representing how far away you want to orbit from your target. Um, looks like a, we did drop an error. What error did we drop? Ball is null. Why is ball null? I 
think it's because I actually have ball as capitalized. And here goes the slow loading. Um, yeah, this is a pain. There we go. Uh, no, ball should be located. So let's go ahead and take a look here on the orbit. Context. Oh, see, I did have a capital letter in there. I did lowercase. Um, so now we should be good to go. Save that up. Uh, hit play. And all goes according to plan. We're orbiting around that ball. Um, doesn't look as though it's keeping around the exact center of that for some reason. Um, let's take a look at this. Uh, okay. See, this is why I should have probably did this first, but as far as I see, um, there's not much to cause that. Let's go ahead and shift this out and then make sure that I believe maybe this has to match the camp set position. It needs to match, perhaps, or Let's go ahead and cut that out. Why? No. Yeah. No, no. I'm trying to think. For some reason I can't. Yeah, that would be why. Alright. Now, let's give that a shot. That should take care of uh, that stagger. I'm not sure why in my original script I had that. Um, May have been for one reason or another. Well, it looks like it's still happening. I don't know why. Um, let's take a look at the designer. The ball's in the center, so. Okay, so before I uh, finish this up, I'm going to take a look at why that was happening. Um, I know now that this plus 5 was just to get it so the camera was up a little bit above the target. Um, I actually boost this to 10 just to give it a little bit higher of an angle. Um, now we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the target um, from this, the target uh, on the Z location was off, I don't know why I had it set to uh, Y, it needs to be set to Z, that's the one correction that I can think of, um, now it should rotate around it in a proper manner. Um, Another a thing that you could do is instead of uh, even rotating the camera here to the cam rotate, which would uh, continue to put that around, you wouldn't even have to. You could actually tell the cam to look at uh, this dot target. What that should do now is save you a step as my computer bogs again. Save you a step of having to set the rotation. Um, this was the original script that we did right then a second ago. If you notice, it's looking kind of above the ball. Um, we'll go ahead and reload the page. And this time it should keep it looking straight at the ball. Uh, yeah, there you go. So. There it is. Uh, that's how you make up an orbital camera. Sorry, I had a couple glitches along the way. Uh, it's really late. It's like 1.15 here, and I had a long day. So, um, I'll make a few more tutorials here soon. Stay tuned.